Shoot! Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Welcome back, hope you've all had a cracking week this week. Uh, I'm just going to get straight into it, mainly because I've got a little bit of a, more of a history around the product that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, I'll just get straight into it. Today we are going to be looking at the Pioneer Altitude Wallet. Um, now, you've probably noticed before, if, if you're um, not new to the channel, that I've reviewed a Pioneer Wallet in the past, and that was the Molecule Wallet. So as far as wallets are concerned, I know what you're thinking at this point, you're thinking, this is weird. Morland really likes these um, small, minimalist, card carrying, just card holder style wallets. So why, why on earth has he gone back to a traditional billfold? And it's mainly because I contacted um, Pioneer Carry, they, you know, they're absolutely amazing people there, um, and just asked about reviewing another wallet, and they said, do you know what, we've, we've got this altitude, what, what do you think of this? And it really is completely different to the style of wallet that I'd normally carry. You've seen in previous months, I've done those card, or a lot of those hard style wallets, um, and it's probably been a good decade, maybe more, since I've carried a traditional billfold um, and I, I thought you know what? let's try something different let's go back to an old billfold let's see what it's like I like to think that this is a, a newer generation of style of billfolds although it is still a traditional billfold uh, and let's let's see what it's like so what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around so that we can have a little bit more about the altitude wallet um, and while I'm doing that if they, if you, you're new to the channel and you, at any point you enjoy this content feel free to hit that like button uh, if you'd like to see more content from me then you know what to do mash on that subscribe button hit the bell notification you'll be able to see more from me in the future as well um, if at any point as well you'd like to share this content that would be amazing because more people get to see my stuff but for now let's turn the camera around I'll see a bit more now what you find with pioneer carry from the outset is it screams high quality and that's what I found with both of the wallets um, that I've received from them the packaging that you get is minimal but just what you need to get that real sense that there's been a lot of thought that's been put into this uh, in here it gives you a little bit of the idea about the the, the hydrostatic, I think that's the right word, qualities that the uh, DWR finish on this gives it. Um, it comes in a little pouch, which is, you know, that's quite nice. And then in the top here, there is a note from the designer, Henry. Uh, and on the back, you know, it just gives you a little bit more information about the, uh, the actual wallet itself. So the wallet, let's go through some of the details and you know some of the things that you'll find on here. Um, so as I mentioned, you know, it is a traditional billfold. It opens out. You don't have to triple fold or double fold any of your notes. Your notes just fit in. It carries between four to eight cards. Obviously, I mean you can carry less than that if you wanted to. Um, but you have two front pockets which I, I mean I, I refer to these as the easy access ones in here I keep the two cards that I use the most um, and then in the back here as you can see there are two extra compartments that you can put uh, what you put cards into as well um, the way that I have it here there are eight cards um, generally for myself though I carry usually around six cards um, but I just find that in the front here, I just keep the one card. Um, so I have one here, one here, and then two behind those. Um, as far as any sort of RFID blocking properties, in the version that I have here, which is the Navy version, there are no, uh, no RFID properties on here. Um, but I found that just keeping an RFID blocking card in there um, works perfectly. The, they do have an RFID blocking version, and that is the Onyx version. When you go onto the website, you'll see that there are a couple of different choices as far as colour is concerned. In fact, my Pioneer that I have here, this is a, a like a slate grey style colour. Whereas I say, this is the, uh, this is the navy, which is a darker grey that has a little bit more blue in there. On the front, you just have 
uh, or at least when you open it here, you just have a really subtle Pioneer from San Francisco, California, US. Um, on the outside, there is there's, there's no sort of branding on the outside. It keeps a very clean, plain sort of minimal look to it, which is def definitely an aesthetic that you know I quite like. Um, on the bottom here, as you get with most bill folds, you know, the, the, the bottom isn't stitched in to make sure that when this opens you get that flap to make sure that when it closes uh, it, it wraps around there, which, you know, just... It's really the engineering that's been put into this to make sure that it works perfectly. You tend to get with some leather wallets that you don't get as much thought into that because after time the leather will stretch. This. The, the material that this is made from is their 10XD material. Now the 10XD material, it's a lot thinner than leather, but it's also incredibly strong and a lot more abrasion resistant than leather. Um, what it's made from, the actual material itself, is 10 times stronger than steel. It is an ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, which it's a bit of a mouthful, but what you do get is, you get a, a, a piece of material that if you were to take a knife to this, it just wouldn't cut. So as far as longevity or being able to have a wallet like this that you know you can put in your pocket, it's going to be rubbing against things. If you're a high user, you're always throwing it around or doing whatever with it. It's going to take a lot of beating before you see any sort of wear on this. I've had this in my pocket now for... I think it was just before, just after Christmas actually, so you know this has been in my pocket for about a month now um, and it's other than you know a bit of food that had gone there on there the other day it's in the exact same condition that it's uh, that it started in. One of the other things as you'd expect with a billfold is here in the back there is a, a, a pocket that you can put in um, any sort of banknotes. Being from the UK, one of the big selling points for this, and it's certainly something that Pioneer Carry pointed out to me, is the fact that this has a deeper um, money slot or uh, bill slot, so that cards from here in the UK, we have quite tall car, uh, we have quite tall notes. So our notes are probably as wide as you'll find in the US on the dollar bills, but they're, they're definitely a lot taller. So we generally tend to find that a lot of wallets over here will know that they've been designed in the US purposely because when we put money in there, you know, there's generally it, it gets up to the top. So um, it's very good for that. If you live in a country where you have very tall notes, uh, you definitely don't need to worry about a wallet like this. Be definitely useful at this point to point out some measurements. So as far as the um, the, the front face across here is 173 millimeters by 102 millimeters by only four millimeters deep. Now that is when you have it wide open like this. So once you close it with no cards in there, then that will double up to uh, eight millimeters um, if there were no cards in there, as I say. And then that 173 centimeters from here to here would roughly half. Um, when it's in there. Now when it's in your pocket it just feels like a traditional billfold, you know, it, it fits in you don't have any difficulties taking it out, in fact if anything it, it, it's just a little bit easier to slip in there. Um, it comes with a W, uh, sorry, a DWR finish so that it will repel any sort of water, it will repel any dirt from there and that finish also it, it really does just you know, it just, it just, it doesn't snag, it just fits in perfectly. If you like to carry on the front, you know, it, again, it just, it just fits in really nicely. The Altitude Billfold from Pioneer, it's, it's changed the way that I think about billfolds and traditional billfolds. As I mentioned before, the slimmer kind of style of the molecule. It's that quintessential wallet that I generally tend to go towards purely because it funnels you down a track of really thinking about what you keep in your wallet. Because of the minimalist nature of it, it means that you just can't overstack it. But I think what Pioneer Carry have been able to do is they've been able to embody that but still in a billfold in the altitude. 
what you have here is a traditional billfold that isn't traditional in the fact that you still have to think about what's in here because it doesn't let you overstack it with things. For me, that's an amazing thing because I get to carry the six cards that I would normally do, although you can carry up to eight in here, and I can put money in there and not have to worry about triple folding it or double folding it. So if I need to get some cash, it's just straight there. I can hand it over to somebody and it doesn't look like I've chewed it to try and get it to fit into it. They've been able to use the technology and the material that is in here so that you still get a very slim footprint when it's in your pocket, whether that's the front or the back. You've seen them. You've seen the guys walking around town. They, they look like they've got this briefcase or suitcase stacked in their pocket. What you get with this is it, it, that, that just disappears. You, you really can't do that. And it's a great minimalist billfold just for that reason. As I say, it's made me think a lot about billfolds because I, I see this as a unconventional traditional billfold, if that makes sense. The materials that are in there, I could go on for a while. Um, hopefully you'll get from this point that, I, you know, I, I really do recommend this wallet. If you are into that wallet, the traditional billfold, I'll tell you what you should do, start this video again, go and get yourself a drink, maybe something like, some, you know, some vodka or whiskey. Every time I say billfold or wallet, take a drink. It's probably useful at this point that I mention that this was sent to me from Pioneer Carry. Uh, I wasn't um, paid or, you know, there was no money transferred for me to, um, for a favourable outcome of this. Um, I generally do like Pioneer Carry and the, um, the wallets that they create. They are uh, exceptionally good products. Um, it would definitely be good at this point. I would like to say thank you to Pioneer Carry for sending this out to me. Um, yeah, I've, <laughs> I think your products are, are amazing. But what I'll do is I'll leave some links in the description below so that you can see more about Pioneer, you can see more about the different wallets that they make, and you can see more about the altitude. Uh, I'll also leave some of my links in the description below so that you can see more about me. Um, follow me on Instagram at morelander underscore edc. Uh, but for now, stay safe, stay morelander, and stay edc.